What's up guys and welcome back to another vlog. Today we are going to be heading up to LA as you probably read in the description or in the title or maybe you saw in the thumbnail of today's video but we're meeting up with my good good friend Joel if you guys don't know who he is. His name is Galax. Check his channel out. He's one of my favorite favorite YouTubers. He has been for such a long time and I believe we're going to be going vintage shopping, a little bit of thrifting. I think that's the goal for today. And yeah, hopefully we show him a good time. We can be good hosts for uh, for Mr. Joel here. And if you're watching this, Joel, shout out to you. Anyways, I'm waiting for my photographer, Andrew, to get here. And I did get a couple packages that I thought would be cool to unbox here on video. So let's go ahead and do that real quick before we go. I'm honestly not entirely sure what's in these packages, but I mean, I think that definitely adds an element of surprise, which makes it I don't know, a bit more exciting. So let's go ahead and see here. Oh, I know what this is. Uh, he sent over a hoodie. I saw this on his Instagram and I was like, dang, this thing's really sick. I love uh, the detail here. This specific detail of having the chains uh, coming through the hood here uh, to be that, that aspect that tightens the hood. I thought that was really, really cool. So, man, this thing's pretty nice. I like it a lot on the back here. Uh, you got an angel, it says death to evil. I love that. Here's the hoodie up close. I want you guys to kind of see it. Got some old English there and it says, a uh, devils and fiends won't prevail. I think it's really dope, dude. I really like this. I'm actually gonna wear this today. Really like this hoodie a lot. And it says uh, death to evil, which is, uh, I'm with that. I'm with that. Who, who, who likes evil, you know what I mean? Evil was so, uh, so 2000 and, uh, 2007, I don't know. Anyways, uh, getting into the next box. Thank you so much to Brother Bird. Check out his Instagram, I'll have it um, in the description. No, this is not a paid advertisement. I just saw the hoodie and I liked it and he was generous enough to send it over. And of course, you guys know, I love supporting uh, you guys as you guys try to follow your dreams. That's awesome. So keep uh, living your life, guys, and follow your dreams. If you're passionate, dive and close, starting a YouTube channel, whatever it looks like, Definitely get after it and I'll do what I can to support. So, uh, thank you, Brother Bird. These are the training pants. They're pretty much essential, man. Honestly, the, the quality is amazing. Super soft, you guys already know. When down the side here, you have a stripe, but it's really, really subtle. It's actually reverse French terry material. I believe these pants, yes, these pants are 100% French terry material. Uh, very, very heavy, super comfortable, so I definitely see myself wearing these quite a bit. Uh, just because, I mean, they're essential and super comfy, so thank you Minimal for that. Getting to the next items here, we got the basketball shorts. Man, I saw somebody comment in the Facebook group that these were the most comfortable, uh, highest quality items that they ever got from Minimal, which is saying a lot. And yeah, the quality is awesome, super thick, uh, very, very heavy, and man, these are really cool. Honestly, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I think I'm more of this hoodie and these, these shorts today. I think that'll be cool. Um, anyways, uh, here is another pair of basketball shorts. They are the red ones, and again, super thick, high quality, very, very heavy. Guys, if you guys don't have basketball shorts yet, definitely suggest getting a pair. Uh, they don't necessarily have to have like basketball teams on them or something like that, but I mean, just some high quality, you know, cool looking basketball shoes. I really think that these are gonna be a go-to in my rotation this summer. They're just honestly effortless, super easy to wear. And I know when it comes to basketball shorts, you can't get more comfortable than that. Like for me personally, um, when it comes to just walking around my house and stuff, I lounge and live in basketball shorts. And these specific ones are really, really sick. Definitely staple piece. Hopefully this wasn't too long of like a diversion from what this vlog is actually supposed to be. Um, whatever, I'll edit it. But anyways, just waiting for Andrew right now. I think he should just about be here. And then we're gonna head up to LA to meet up with Joel. What's up guys, look who's here, we got Joel. Hey guys, how's it going? As I said earlier, we're gonna be heading into Wasteland right now. It's really loud where we're at. So uh, let's just go ahead and go inside and show you guys what we find. So it's a boot like vintage. <laughs> It's legit, like it's actually, yeah, it's not really good cheese. So can you fit a size pocket? <laughs> okay. 
couple supreme teas. More supreme over here. Supreme blank tea. Green. Sixty-six bucks. Wow, that's kind of pricey. Another hundred card supreme. Oh, I have a pair of products. Oh, okay. Oh, really? Denim shows, I'm gonna try. oh, why don't you show me what you found? Um, I found these blue denim cutoffs. They're inspired by St. West. Dude, yeah, I'll post a picture right here. Yeah. But if you guys saw that picture, man, it's amazing. Yeah, he looks so good. Or just a Miri. Miri just makes I, good stuff, dude. I wish they didn't put all these through it. I know. Wait, that's not part of it, is it? No, that's no, a security. It's, it's, yeah, it's yeah. holes, dude. They put holes in it. It's a holy, holy jacket. <laughs> holy, holy jacket. <laughs> So nice, Alright guys, so we're having a bit of a tougher time finding anything here, but we're gonna go to like the vintage tea section and see what they have over there. Usually there's always good stuff, but it's a little bit pricey, but let's see what they got. Fan teas and stuff. Oh, dude, this is sick. Oh, that might be that might be a cop for me. Anyways, um, what I was thinking was, what I was saying was, one thing like that's kind of good about vintage teas going kind of out, if you will, at the moment, out of season, is that um, they're cheaper. You know, so that's a great a great sign. The market is definitely significantly decreased of vintage teas. Vintage will always supersede that of like reprints, no matter how like close you get to vintage. Uh, like trying to remanufacture it, it just it doesn't compare. Look how well this aged. Look at the color. It's so nice. Now I don't listen to Pink Floyd, so I won't get it. But it, it's a great looking shirt. It's just aged very well. All right, I see how like Joel and I are. I want to see if he likes these. Oh, I want to know. Do you like those? Uh, not one bit. Not at all, <laughs> dude. It's destiny. We're meant to be friends forever, <laughs> dude. Why would you? Here's gonna be all the vibe, guys. This one's guess. I love how this one feels, but I don't know if it's gonna fit, so I'm gonna try that one on. But just kind of going through here, looking for some cool Hawaiian shirts. It's really soft rayon material shirts. If you guys uh, haven't seen yet, uh, Minimal will be dropping some as well, but. Definitely hoping to, you know, hopefully cash out on something cool here while I'm here. So I won't be showing my pants, but I think I'm gonna get this shirt. I mean, it's a little bit tight, but I feel like I can make this work. Very flowy, very comfortable. It'll be great for summer, so yeah. I think I'm gonna get this. Oh, we do, so. That's my favorite, dude. Actually, oh, this full it. fit, yeah. dude. God, that's, that's why he gets pit, dude, dude. That's why he's a pro, dude. My goodness. Joel out here just teaching, teaching us lessons out here, man. Wait, is that a Harley tee? Yeah, this is a Harley tee. It's nice. I, I actually like the fit too. It's pretty fairly priced. Yeah, I like it. And the color, yeah. it aged really well. Yeah, for sure. Super soft. Oh, wow. Only for 20 bucks. Yeah, that's pretty good. Easy, easy purchase. I think I'm down. Not bad, eh? Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Have a good weekend. Rest of the weekend. Thank you. Sweet. Good. Nice little outing, eh? Alright, let's go to Crossroads. Another uh, thrift place here on Melrose. <laughs> Dude, that was so funny. Poor Joel, dude. Did you just have your life flash before your eyes? I nearly died. <laughs> Crossing the street. Crossing in LA. the street in LA to go vintage Crazy. shopping. So. <laughs> All right, guys. So we need a bit of a recharge. I'm gonna sit down and kind of chat it up and everything and catch yeah. up. So we're gonna get some Starbucks real quick and then I Paul's guess we'll show us his DMs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna show him the DMs. <laughs> Being basic. <laughs> yeah. I don't really care. I love Starbucks. <laughs> Actually, I like Starbucks too. Yep. Try the nitro. <laughs> Look at these guys. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell them. Everything pulls the arms. With Jerry. Yeah, Jerry, Jerry who? <laughs> Jerry Lorenzo. <laughs> and what are your thoughts on the DMs? You don't have to go too tuned in depth. 
I'm shook. I'm shook? Yeah. It's crazy, right? This is crazy. I did not expect this kind of conversation between you two. Behind the scenes of Joel, Andrew shooting him. Look how cool Joel is, man. It, does it get any cooler than Joel? Only one T. That's kind of creepy. All right, so it's a vintage tea store. Dude, nostalgia, dude. Yeah. It's not the back, though. It's, is there anything on the back? Oh, that is the back, you're right. You know something? I honestly think I had that shirt when I was a little kid. Oh, 80. $85. All right, I have a question for you, Joel. Who's gonna have the bigger year? Kanye and actually it'd be Kanye, Pharrell, and Drake for Adidas or Jerry and Virgil for Nike? Um, honestly, I think, yeah, Kanye for Adidas is always gonna be big. But then Virgil for Nike or Nike? Do you say Nike? I said Nike, but Nike, yeah. Nike works I don't know too. how to say it. Um, I think I don't think Jerry for Nike is gonna be big. <gasps> no, because your average guy doesn't know about That's actually fear crazy. of God. That's crazy. But everyone now knows about Virgil, and everyone knows about Kanye. That's kind of true. Only if you're into like streetwear and fashion do you know about Jerry Lorenzo. That's kind of true. I personally think the best we've seen from Virgil has already happened. That's my opinion. For uh, for Nike, that's just my opinion, but I don't know. I just, you know, Kanye's just Kanye, dude. He's on another level of marketing and, you know, make, keeping himself relevant. So I guess we'll see. I'm really excited to see what Jerry does with Nike. I think I will personally be a bigger fan of uh, the Nike stuff with Jerry. All right, guys, so we just got done here on this side of Melrose. Now we are headed over to round two. And then after that, I think we're gonna go to the spot to go take some cool pictures. Well, at least, hopefully they end up cool. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get out of here. All right, guys, so continuing on with our vintage excursion, I think first we're gonna go to round two, yeah. and then we're gonna go to the vintage store because yeah. we love old things. Yeah. Love you, Grandma, if you're watching this. So we're gonna go ahead and head in right now, round two. Let's go. I actually would get these if they were my size, nine and a half, just you know for basketball purposes. Oh, the shoes that got away. It's tough to see them in person, and I love these, bro. They had tons of off-white shoes here, actually. Vapor flies or whatever. So they're 500. Wow. Designer stuff, 350 for the. Oh, oh, it's, oh, it's brand new. Wow, that's not bad for 300. I mean, I wouldn't buy it, but I feel like relative, relatively, it's not too bad. I didn't know they had. Oh, so kind of pricey. Do I sell? Don't have your bag. Oh, they do. They have tons of them. They're, they should be on the wall. <laughs> Yeah. They just didn't pop up. Like they were with fashion guys. If yeah, if these dropped now, they would pop off all over social media. Raph was definitely a man amongst boys. Uh, so we're in here at Vintage by Round Two, which is right next door, and we're pretty much looking for vintage stuff today. I've actually been vibing with like long sleeve barley tees. Those are ideal. Are we gonna do this? Are you promise you, you come with? You promise? I don't climb. Are you gonna do it? <laughs> I guess if you guys go. There's so many cars. I know, dude. This is like so public, dude. There's so many cars coming, dude. Oh, <laughs> well, watch out the top. It's really spiky. Oh, <laughs> can you do it? Yo, I think this is a bad idea. Can you do it? <laughs> Paul, I don't know about this. Are you not gonna go? <laughs> I'll no, come, no, but we're gonna... gonna drop down. If you can do it, then I guess you I can. can I'm just scared of getting caught, dude. Yeah, same. Uh, I'll do it. We gotta get down, dude. Okay. <laughs> this is such a bad idea, dude. Oh, and up, uh, yeah.
It's actually not that hard. No, it's not. Not really. Only part of it. Wow, you did it so fast. I really don't want to rip my pants. <laughs> oh, dude. How do you pants. get over? You step into that right there. You did it so gracefully. You did it, dude. We better get some good insight. Yeah, let's go, dude. We did it for the gram, bro. Ew. What is that? That's kind of disturbing. Yeah, neighbor, neighbor. And we made it. We don't expect you at all. We don't expect you at all. My heart is falling. Why are you recording us being illegal? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. If you find a video, I'll come with you. I know this is really nerve wracking. <laughs> Anyways, let's take more pics. Are you sure? No. Are you guys really? Are you guys serious? That's a look at the fucking floor. I know. That's what I'm saying, dude. It's not. It's not safe. Okay, guys. So we just got here to the Grove. Oh my goodness. That was really scary. Oh we uh, took our pictures. It, it was just too much, but we decided we wanted to go somewhere really, really safe. And that's why we're here at the Grove. We're gonna put our names down uh, here at Maggiano's. And then I think we're gonna do uh, like a little like shopping here at the Grove, you know, put around, see what they have. Check out Topman and all that good stuff. So that's about it for now. Taking you to the Grove. Um, you've been here. About seven million. <laughs> and I took myself last night to watch Avengers. <laughs> I love the Grove. It sounds cool. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Alright guys, so we just got here to Top Man. As you can see, they actually do have a vintage section, so it kind of goes with today's video. So we're going to give that a look. What's that? No filming here. Yeah. Stop that. You can't film in here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually really cool for 80. So we have been systematically removed from Top Man, escorted by top level security for taking videos. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, we, yeah, we, we did get kicked out. So we're heading over to Nordy's, see what they have. And then we're gonna have dinner. So I'm really excited for that. Nordy's? No oh, you never heard of Nordy's? We're gonna head to Nordy's. No, I wow! Just, no, I that yeah. So we're here at Maggiano's, and my favorite thing here is the stuffed mushroom. What's that? No, but cheese. Uh uh, it's uh, it's like breaded garlic crumbs and uh, crab. This is so good. It's so good. Dude, it's, it's so really good. good. It's so good. Yay! It's so soft.